better than I remember. I know. You know, I can't believe it didn't sell, but that's why we're here. Maybe we should that wall. I think they should. Yeah. It's a great room. It really is. Mm -hmm. It's three bedrooms. And the primary bedroom is good size. These closet doors are great. I think we should just keep them. All right, these windows for sure have We cannot keep these windows. But let's keep this. <laughs> okay. This is cute. <laughs> well, I love the natural light. Yeah. It's, it's great. really good. Curse will give you $100 to sit on that porch line. <laughs> <laughs> actually, it's fine. I'll give you two. I'll give you. All right, I'll you sit. You know what? Here. It's actually fine. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, it's good. It's, it's, it's relaxing. Yeah. I think we keep it for sure. I think so. It's really cute. I think the deck has to go. Definitely. It's had a nice run. Yeah. An underdog is an underestimated champion. Something isn't selling, but we think should be. We are so committed to selling our clients' properties. We put the money up front, we renovate, we guarantee the price, and then they get all the profits. Okay, well, I think this is a super cute kitchen. It's already shaped like a U, so that means it's going to be really functional. Um, and I think we just need to extend the cabinets all along that other wall. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, then we can get a lot more counter space in here. And for sure, the cabinets need to go. It's a good property. It meets our criteria of being an underdog. And I think we can make a difference. Our client wants to sell. I think we can help them sell. I love the mid-century. It's a duplex. It's well-priced. The market right now in this price point is hot. But people don't have the money to do rentals, but they have the mortgage approval to buy homes like this. And there's just a little bit too much work. But maybe there's a way where we can get something affordable that makes a lot of sense for other people too. Yeah. I think the big thing we do is we get Eve on the budget. I think we start pricing out what we think would cost, mm -hmm. but we'll have to move on it quickly because it's hard to get stuff. Mm -hmm. We got to order windows, cabinets. Paint, baseboards, flooring. Uh, make a yard, fence mm -hmm. it in. Let's give people what they want. And most importantly, help our clients sell. Sounds great. All right, I'll speak to our client. You talk to Eve about a budget. Let's get a price. Mm -hmm. And I'll see if we do this. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> Lighting in here is really great. Like usually the windows are just so overblown. <laughs> <laughs> what are you working on though? We're on a reel for our Instagram page. The caption is going to be things are hustling and bustling in here, but um... you know what, Natalie, you know it's hustling and bustling when it's quiet. Actually. Yeah. Exactly. All right, we have a very important thing to discuss here, Natalie. Important meeting. Lunch. What do we have for lunch today? Seriously, don't know. What are you feeling? Here's some things to think about. Number one, I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. Number two, Eve's out for lunch today. So we don't have to worry about her. Okay. I don't want to get anything too braggy, you know? Is Chris going to be here? Yeah. But I don't want to like get something like Eve loves and then she's going to be sad. Yeah. But okay. it means, what it does mean is that burritos on the table. Did I, Andrew, when, when, you were in the, when, when you were in the bathroom, Andy and I were talking about lunch and I said, I feel like a burrito. Oh. But I also said, I always feel like burritos. Like there's never a day where I don't want a burrito. Yeah, that's true. For you. Because, yeah. It's not for me. Cause it's like, a, there's the wrap and then it's just stuffed with everything I would eat on any given day. I just love burritos. I feel like they never disappoint. I prefer like a chicken like a, burrito um, to, um, like to a pulled chicken pork. burrito. To I, yeah, I have. This it's really good. Burrito. Okay. It's super good. It's just like a lot. It is a lot. Of it's a lot. Okay, I know where I am. <laughs> anyway, so back to me being a Can great you tell driver. Can from St. Albert? <laughs> I live in Edmonton, but just not Such over here. Are you visiting for Should work? I, I'm going to go left pleasure. here. <laughs> we should scooter. Oh, they're on? And the birds are out too. I got an email from Bird. Hey, hey you again. We should ride. That'd be so fun. Let's ride. Let's ride. Let's ride the scooters.
Okay, I know where I am. Now, great word. Hooty hoot. Who's back there? Hi. Eve, is that because you're remembering it without oh, like God. the windows on your lap? That really got me. <laughs> this is not there a bazooka. <laughs> <laughs> it is a real tea and leash for sale sign. Show me your face. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> great. Wow. Wow. Okay, now what? It's like a puzzle. It, it is, is a puzzle. <laughs> Today we have the Realty and Niche, what we call the Realty and Niche hat trick. We have a possession that we need to do for a client. We have two offers on listings. I'm in a multiple offer with uh, on a listing. Jen has an, is working with an offer on a listing. And we're getting a place ready to list. So it is the Realty and Niche hat trick. The Hattie. The Hattie. The Realty and Niche Hattie is happening today. And Trisha is to come to the office to tell us about all the good things that are happening with our bookkeeping, and I completely um, left the office. She's fine. I know, but still, it's not good. I know. Trisha's too good to stand up. I know. This is I the second time. I know. Well, we've been busy well, in spring. It's crazy I right know. Now. Just like, she should just text us. Yeah, it's her fault. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know. I mean, it's our oh, fault. It's our fault. Okay. Yeah. It's totally my fault. I feel so bad. The nice thing is that where we're going, the key release is just down there. So the new listing, key release, we got we got some efficiency here. And what I love is the realtor on the condo left the lockbox. So Oh, that's where you got that idea from. Yeah. <laughs> that's where I got that from. <laughs> Earlier today, Chris had an epiphany. He said, let's leave the condo lockbox on when we do a possession. And I thought, why is he bringing this up right now? Now I know. I don't know why that's never clued into me before. It's efficient. And it's secure. It's all the things you want. On a, on a, in my life. It's yeah. all the things you're looking for. Efficient and secure. It's beautiful. It's, yeah. Edmonton, it's, uh, the Edmonton in the spring. It's one of the most beautifully monotone seasons of our year. But still in Edmonton. Love it. It's home. Wouldn't be anywhere else. I think when I first walked into this property, I liked it right away. The skylight's beautiful. It looks beautiful over the dining room table. The U-shaped kitchen is super functional and it had really great mid-century modern vibes. And I'm really surprised that it hasn't sold. Yeah. It was on the market for 174 days. I've always believed this is, you know, someone's gonna turn this house into a home and make it beautiful for themselves. The other thing that makes it an underdog is it actually has great space. The ceilings are terrific. The mid-century design, the three bedroom, it just works. The flow is excellent. People want a yard, people have dogs, people want a place where they can, you know, send their kids outside or have a barbecue or host friends. People want a modern design kitchen that functions, not appliance, appliance, appliance. So there was just enough things in the property people didn't appreciate enough when actually it had great bones. Great bones. Something that's worth more. Turn this house into a home.